Hi, Alex here from rebeloper.com and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now in this video I am going to move forward with UI scroll view and subclass it in Swift. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, now if you haven't already uh, watched the previous video on how to create UI scroll view programmatically in Swift easily, then go ahead and take a look at it right now. And you will see that we have built something like this. Well, exactly this uh, UI scroll view with a container view that contains a label uh, saying center of container view, and that is indeed in the center of it. Now, uh, this is the code. Go ahead and take a look at how we constructed it. Now, we are going to uh, refactor all of this and create an awesome subclass of UI uh, scroll view so you can reuse it easily in your codes. So, let's refactor all of this. First of all, let's create a new file here and I will name it Rebeloper Scroll View, but you may name it anything that you want to. And let's create uh, this. Okay, let me just move this up a little bit. And uh, let's create a new view controller so we don't mess up the existing code. And I will name this simple, uh, simply a root view controller. So let's create a new file next. There we go. And let us just copy everything from here and add it into our root view controller. Let's add the necessary changes. And all I needed to do is delete the word simple. Let's just uh, move it up a little bit. And in app delegate, let's uh, delete the simple word from our <laughs> root view controller. Uh, instance. And there we go. We should be able to run, but we are not going to run this because it's uh, basically the same. What we are going to do is refactor this code. Now, uh, let's create our class. So let's import UI kit here. Let's create a class named Rebeloper Scroll View. And uh, its super class will be UI scroll view. Now let's initialize it like in it with frame and so on and let's just wait a little because there is a required initializer in it with coder so let's fix this let's add that in there and uh, we could add here super in it with frame but uh, I will just delete this so the main initializer won't be accessible. Instead, we will create our own initializer and I will leave it uh, with uh, no parameters at the moment. Now, what do we want to do here? First of all, let's call, of course, super init, super init uh, with frame and I will add a frame of zero here. And that should take care of this warning. And now we are ready to uh, refactor our uh, root view controller. So we want to add all of these background color frame, content size, and so on into our initializer. So let us just copy all of this, hit Command C, go back to Rebeloper Scroll View, and under Super in it. Let's just add uh, all of this. Now, the view is the UI scroll view, so we need to remove all of this and I will show you a neat trick how to remove all of these views. So go ahead and hit uh, option on your keyboard and just select what you want to delete. There we go. We have multiple selection and just delete everything. Yeah, real, real nice. Now, uh, let's just wait to see what is missing. Well, the view is missing here. So let's add in our view here and it will be a UI view. Okay, and I will delete the self because now we need to reference this view and indeed it does. Next up, we need the content view size. So let's add our content. Let me just copy it out so there would be no typos here. And that is a CG size. And um, that would take care of everything. Yeah. 
let's go back and see what else do we need to add because this is just the scroll view we need to add our container view too so let me just uh, just copy all of uh, this and then go back and paste that so I will rename this let's say container view okay and just paste that in there and um, next up we need to add this container view to our uh, UI scroll view and for that we will uh, remove well I'm not going to remove this I will remove all of the necessary things in the root view controller in just a moment so what we need to do here is add sub view container view and that is it because we have already set the frame of it and of course the frame and the content size is set okay uh, uh, what we want to do now is make sure that we can access this container view. So we create a very optional variable here. Uh, let me just copy the name. So there we go. And it is a UI view. We will uh, access this later on when we want to add new views onto our container view in the root view controller. So once we did add our container view, we want to uh, make, uh, let me just type that out, self container view equals the container view. Now this container view is of course the one that we have created in the initializer and this container view is the variable that we declared up here and we will be accessing later on. Okay, and I believe that is it. To, uh, for a basic uh, initialization. Now let's go back to our root view controller and change everything. First of all, we will not need the, our container view because it's already in there. And maybe let's just delete all of the scroll view and let's just type it out lazy var scroll view. And uh, this time it will be a rebeloper scroll view and let scroll let's say or view or some i will name it view because it's much easier to use it like so and it will be a rebel per scroll view and i will choose the initializer with view and content view size okay the view is the view actually well let's just add in here scroll view that uh, <laughs> we may access this view and the content size is the co content view size that we have declared up here. Okay, and uh, finally, let's return our scroll view here and let's initialize it. Okay, let's see if all of these error go, errors go away. And yes, indeed, they do. Now, what, uh, and that is it. Just set up the, add in the view and the content view size. Now, because the container view is inside the scroll view, we no longer need to add it as a sub view. And this container view is uh, not accessible. So what we need to do is a guard let unwrap it. So guard let, that is a container view and equals scroll view contain dot contain container view maybe we need to build and run and see that container there we go we need it to build and run so xcode realizes that we do have a container view inside scroll view and else we will return if we don't have a container view we will return and there we go we just need to add our label to our container view and center it to our container view now that is it let's just build and run and uh, i will give you a final tweak after we have uh, tested this out there we go nice really nice it works okay and we have uh, added just a few lines of code of course we do have our developer scroll view now what if i wanted to initialize this with the bounces, it's not as true. Maybe we don't want to bounce. Maybe we do want to bounce. So we add in here another property, bounces. 
and it will be of type bool and I will set the default to be true. Okay, and now what we want to add in here is bounces. But of course, as you can see, the bounces is the same. So what we want to add for the first bounces is self because we want to grab the bounces from our uh, UI scroll view. And that is it. Now, uh, this is optional, but it's not option. It's optional to add because it's already set to true. But if we wanted to, we can add in here, let's say, bounces and force. Okay, so let's just run uh, one last time and we should be ready with our project. Okay, there we go. It is not bouncing as you can see. Now that is it for creating UI scroll view subclasses. Go ahead and create your very own. I hope this was a really good template to start off with. and. Uh, uh, if you did like this video, of course, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get notified of new videos as they come out. Now it is your turn. Go ahead and take a look at the GitHub repository. You can find all the necessary links down below in the description and go ahead and create UI scroll view subclasses for your own project. And as always, I will see you in the next one.